Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the project Joint Watermarking Encryption JPEG LS for Medical Image Reliability Control in Encrypted and Compressed Domains Now we are going to discuss about the abstract of the project Digital Image Processing is process of images in order to improve the security as well as the quality of the image as well as due to the need of the security while sending the image to the receiver we presented this process this process presents the many of the approaches focus largely on joint watermarking encryption schemes for medical images to maintain the security and then the quality of the original image can be easily improved without any loss of pixels after embedding the data into an image hence this method improve the security of the image and to improve the quality of the image as well as during the receiver side there will be then minimizing the losses of data now we discuss about the overall flow diagram of the process at first this is the overall working flow of the project this is the first model at first the input image is taken from the data set data, data set is consist of the several images after getting any one image from the data set, the pre-processing will be carried out. In this pre-processing step, we done the one of the pre-processing like image resize. Here we just converting the image size into an 300 cross 300. That means the number of row in the pixel is 300. Then number of column will be the 300. After the pre-processing, the pre-processed image will be go for the watermarking. In this watermarking step, the DWT is applied for the watermarking. Hence, the watermarking will match the two images, input image 1 and 2. After watermarking the image, the key generation will be carried out based on the ciphertext. After generating the key, the encryption will be carried out. In this encryption step, the AES encryption is used to encrypt the image. The encrypted image will be look like this. After the encryption, the decryption will be carried out. In this decryption step, once again the user can give the key. If the encryption key and then the decryption key will be the same, it will go for the decryption. Otherwise, the process will be aborted. If the decryption is done, the after that the D watermarking is carried out to extract the data from the image. In the in this D watermarking the IDWT is used. After the dewatermarking, the image extraction will be done to show the embedded data. After that, finally, the final step is the performance estimation. In this performance estimations, we have done the PSNR, MSC, VPP time as well as the some of the other performance estimations also there. Now we are going to discuss about the running procedure of the project. At first open the MATLAB 2015B and change the current directory. Now you can see the file in the name of main underscore page dot m. Right click in that file and select the option run. Now the user interface was open. In that you can see the list of modules. As per this list of modules only we have done the project. Now click the button execute project. Once you click this button, the new GUI window was open. In that you can see the several push buttons as well as the several axes for the display purpose. First of all, click the first button input image. After clicking this button, we have to click any one image from the data set. After the selection of the data set, the corresponding image will be shown in the axis 1. After that, we have to select the second image from the second data set. After the selection of the second data set, the text image will be shown in the axis 2. After that, we move on to the pre-processing. In this pre-processing step, the both the images will be resized into an size of 300 cross 300. After the resizing, the wavelets will be applied. Here, the discrete wavelet transform is applied. Hence, the 
this image shows the low low frequency this image shows the low high frequency this image shows the high low frequency and this image shows the high high frequency of the wavelet this is for the set of first image this is for the set of second image after the wavelet is applied we go for the water marking in this water marking step the first image and then the second images are combined together to generate the watermarked image the only the first image will be the visible the second image will be embedded into one watermarked image after that the compression is done by the discrete quotient transform after that we move on to the encryption part in this encryption first first of all we have to enter the key value after embedding the key value we have to encrypt the image now we have to just put some name for the encrypted image then click the button save now the encrypted image is shown like this after the encryption we move on to the decryption part in this decryption part we have to click the button decrypt image once the key value is entered wrong it will be shown as an invalid key in next time i have given the correct key now the folder was open in that you have to select an image from that folder the encrypted image is shown like this and then the decrypted image is shown in this this is decrypted image is somewhat uh, relevant to the watermarked image after that we have we have to extract the watermark present in that decrypted image the extracted watermark image is shown like this after this the performance evaluation will be done based on the psnr and the msc this is the overall performance we have estimated for psnr msc cross correlation and time finally the results will be generated the size of the input image 1 and then the size of size of the input image 2 then after the resizing the size will be displayed like this the number of channels in the input image 1 and 2 will be displayed like this then the mean value standard deviation value bit type and finally psnr msc time thresholding then encryption thresholding decryption thresholding this is the overall histogram of the compressed image decompressed image then encrypted image